Success at last, albeit overdue and underwhelming. Head to the war room for an update on the situation. Perhaps there is a shred of hope after all. I can't believe this. She's late again. Where is that blasted girl? Give her a break, Smithy. About damn time. There's been a new development. I heard about the Monte Carlo incident. Was it harm? Indeed. They've just issued their demands. What you know is that at precisely 1700 hours Greenwich Mean Time, on September 19th, 1967, an explosion destroyed Club Metropole in Monte Carlo, Monaco, killing 47 people and injuring more than 100. What you do not know is that the source of the blast was not a mechanical device, but rather a man. Commissioner Maurice Albert. Because you are at least somewhat familiar with the research of Dr. Otto Schenker, you are therefore capable of comprehending both the plausibility of this claim as well as its implications. As we have demonstrated, our organization, HARM, possesses the recipe for a biological weapon of such insidious potential and singular destructive power that no one on the planet is safe! Unless our demands are met. This is outlandish. By now, I'm sure you have received the itemized list of our requirements. You have exactly one week to fulfill these requirements. If our demands are not met, we will be forced to discipline you. Already, we have infected prominent individuals in three dozen major metropolitan areas around the world. The first of our unsuspecting victims will detonate at exactly 0600 hours on September 26th. The estimated death toll is one million people! They're mad! The remaining victims will detonate at six hour intervals thereafter. Once our terms have been met, we will deliver a list of infected persons as well as a quantity of antidote sufficient to curtail this catastrophe. However, because the deadline we have imposed is dictated by the chemical fuse inherent in the reagent itself, the sooner you comply with our wishes, the more time you will have available in which to administer the antidote. I assure you that you do not possess the medical means necessary to diagnose the infection, nor the technical means necessary to diffuse it. Therefore, it would be in your best interest not to squander valuable time on such useless endeavors. Furthermore, any attempts by your secret service organizations to interfere with harm shall be severely punished. That is all. A puppet? Don't be fooled by the messenger. This situation is extremely grave. They certainly expect us to swallow a lot of maybes. Maybe they're telling the truth about Monte Carlo. Maybe the consequences would be as dire as they predict. Maybe there's an antidote. Maybe they'll fulfill their end of the bargain. I tend to agree with you, Agent Archer. But for the time being, I suggest we take them at their word. The word of a puppet? What are their demands? Mr. Smith? Fifty million pounds sterling, the continent of Australia, and an internationally recognized holiday to be known as Praise Be to Harm Day. I don't see the point. Presumably it is to praise harm. Not in the holiday. In their demands. It's obvious we aren't capable of fulfilling them. Harm must want us to forfeit. Nonsense. They may be madmen, but we have to presume they aren't completely irrational. Why even issue demands if their sole purpose were to cause destruction and chaos? Perhaps they expect a partial capitulation. That way they can get what they really want, the 50 million pounds sterling. But they can also justify punishing us when we come up short on their other demands. It's obvious from the way they go on about their secret weapon that they're just itching to use it again. You hardly have the experience necessary to support such speculations. Archer may be onto something. In any case, harm's motives are irrelevant. Our goal is to stop them. Completely. No capitulation, no compromise. What about their warning? Once again, we must take them at their word. It is therefore imperative that we act swiftly and decisively. Our objectives are clear. 
We must obtain the list of infected individuals. We must get our hands on the antidote, and we must recover Dr. Schenka. And Volkov? He's only a threat if he knows what we're up to. If our theories are correct about Agent Lowry, Volkov shouldn't be much of a concern. What if your theories aren't correct? Then may God help us all. I hope we can come up with a better plan than that. What about the information we got off the ship? Well, the containers you photographed weren't accounted for on the shipping manifest, which comes as little surprise. However, much of the cargo aboard the freighter was on its way to a chemical plant in southern England. Not much to go on. Be that as it may, it's better than sitting on our hands waiting to find out if Archer's correct about Harm's intentions. And the captain's log? Useless. Shite. Tell us about this chemical plant. It's owned by Dumas Industrial Enterprises. Dumas? As in Baron Archibald Dumas? What do you know about him? Only what I've read in the papers. Apparently, he's a reclusive chap who spends much of his time hunting big game in Africa and Southeast Asia. No one knows much about him except that he inherited the company from his father about ten years ago. We're counting on you to discover whether or not he's connected to harm. And if he is... First things first. For now, try to get an audience with the man. Size him up. We need to know what sort of fellow we're dealing with. Your best bet is to see if you can catch him at the chemical plant. There's also a corporate office up north, but apparently he doesn't spend much time there. Whatever you do, don't jeopardize your cover. It's imperative that we take harm by surprise. Understood. I have a hunch we're getting close. If this lead pays off, we'll be one important step closer to victory. Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. We've cooked up a stunning new perfume for you. It temporarily blinds and dazes anyone caught in its influence. Do be careful not to spray it upwind. This little fellow is one of our most refined inventions. The P421 K9 Persuader. Just start it up with this convenient pull cord and set it on the ground. Using sophisticated olfactory sensors, the P421 will seek out the nearest dog within its range and release a cloud of pheromone gas designed to enamor canines of either sex. Quite useful for incapacitating bothersome guard dogs. Use your robotic poodle to distract the guard dog. It is possible that the reclusive Baron Archibald Dumas is somehow connected to the disappearance of Dr. Schenker. It will be up to you and Agent Goodman to establish the link, if it even exists. The first step is to meet the Baron in person and size him up. Whatever you do, don't blow your cover. Good morning, how may I help you? We've an appointment with Baron de Mont. I'm sorry, but are you sure it was today? The Baron usually reserves Mondays for golf. Tuesdays and Thursdays are for skeet shooting, Wednesdays for fishing, and Friday afternoons for backgammon. Sounds like a busy schedule. How does he find time for appointments? His lordship reserves Friday mornings between 11 and 11.15 a.m. for business matters. Well, I'm positive today was the day. Could you take another look at the appointment book? 
I suppose, but I can't see that it will do any good. The Baron's routine is quite established. Would you excuse me for a moment? That should keep her busy for about ten minutes, poor lass. All right, wait here just in case. I'll find the Baron's office and see if I can dig up some incriminating evidence. I've got a better idea. You wait here and I'll snoop around. No way, sugar pie. Remember what happened last time? Heads or tails? Tails. Heads, you lose. Sugar pie. Two out of three? Don't be a sore loser. Fine, but stay sharp. If you're seen, the mission's blown. If the Baron figures out you're in his office, the mission's blown. If you hurt anybody... The mission's blown, I know. Just remember what I said. Thank you. 
of implementing safety regulations if no one abides by them. I wouldn't know, sir. After three safety training courses in the past two months, you'd expect to see some decline in serious on-site accidents, don't you think? I suppose so, sir. So would I. But according to this report, the accident rate's actually gone up. I'm sorry. in person. I'll be back in a jiffy. Luck, sir. Thank you, Evelyn. the Beatles. 
Sure. I wish they'd go on tour again. Don't hold your breath. Well, as long as they keep making records, I'm happy. I just hope they don't break up. Any luck? Plenty. Do you trust me now? Nope. Now then, let's see if um we can't sort this confusion out, shall we? That's all right. Perhaps we can reschedule at a more convenient time. Certainly. How about Friday at 11 a.m.? Perfect. See you then.